Hello guys and welcome. So this is the series of Django REST Framework Tutorial. And in this video tutorial, you will learn about user registration, login, logout APIs. I have written this blog on my website studygyan.com. Links will be in description. So let's get started. Okay. So we will be installing these libraries. Okay. So we'll copy this library and uh, we are going to install our libraries in virtual environment. Okay. Install. Once Django REST framework is installed, we will be using Django REST Nox, which is a token based authentication. So in this tutorial example, we will be using token based authentication. Okay. So we'll install this one also. Nox library. Then we need to create our Django app. So first we'll create the app Django admin start project DRF. Okay, so our project has been created and its name is DRF. Okay. Now inside DRF, we have installed apps and inside that we will be pasting this two lines. Okay. So here it is. Now we need to add this thing. Okay. So guys, this is a REST framework, which is following token based authentication. Okay. So for now we have commented these things, but if you guys want to use session based authentication, then this line should be there. Okay. For now we are using Nox token based authentication. So we'll save this one and we are ready to go. Now we will be creating one app called accounts. Django admin start app accounts okay and we will be pasting this app in our installed apps okay so the name of this app might be different in your scenarios okay now in this app we will be going to the views okay first we will be creating a serializer.py so it should be serializers s serializers okay now we will be pasting this code inside that thing so basically we are creating a serializer for our register api okay then inside the views.py we will be pasting this code so in view.py paste this code. So this is our REST APIs which we have created. Now what we'll do, we'll first register our urls.py in our main urls.py. So first we'll include, then we'll copy this path and remove this thing. Include and in here accounts dot urls save now we'll copy this file and we'll paste it in things we will be adding this path okay so we can directly copy this thing okay save now we are ready to go okay so now what we'll do we'll run the server and check if there are any errors okay and we don't find any errors so we can go to this url because our url is api slash register so here we can see the register api okay so similarly you can see postman okay in postman we can register and uh, this link this tutorial link will be in the bottom there will be a git link 
so you can go through the code whatever we have created and for now i can show you one example like i have created the apis so in register okay so i have not created any register api so what we'll do we'll create one api okay and we'll see what all fields are required okay so we can copy this thing and we can give it as post in body we can give it as raw or you can directly give it here as username okay and then username as admin then password as password and email as email okay now we have done this now we'll copy this url and we'll paste it here okay we'll rename this as register okay and now we'll send this file so in here the content type is this by default it comes in postman and we'll send it okay so no user auth user has been found so the problem is here is that we have not migrated our fields so python manage.py make migrations migrate okay now we have created this thing now we'll send it okay again run the server and send okay so this is how our register user register is done okay so this is the authentication key so if you you can use this authentication key for login also so now we'll go to the login logout api authentication so in accounts views.py we'll paste this code and basically this is the view code where we are overriding the nox classes okay so we can keep this code here we are using nox login view and in nox login view what we'll do if you can see here this code this code is used for login okay so guys if you guys are using session based login so this can be a very useful tip for you okay now what you can do we can copy this url paths in our views urls.py here okay now we can give the login api and one more thing the nox views save this one and here we are done now let's say we can go to this url okay so similarly you can go in postman and you can do things also now we can the the password which we have created the username which we have created it should be in this format okay so i think we have created the password and the username with the same fields i'll use it use that default and post okay so we have logged in and if you see we have got a token and a expiry similarly we have done for logout also so what we'll do i'll show you an example where how a logout can be used okay so if you see here logout in here I'll, I'll create one so in here i'll give the url and the url will be logout and here what we'll do will give a authorized token so to access the authentication is authenticated apps we need to use authorization and what we'll do we'll use this code 
this token and here as we are using nox we will be using token space and the code and set okay okay so it is giving me error like get method is not allowed so we'll change it to post and here done so we are not getting any response this means we have been logged out okay now we'll what we'll do we'll check the second one okay so this one is used for logout all let's say if if a user has logged in many times in different browsers we can use this thing to log out from every browser so guys this was the first part of our django rest framework tutorial and you can continue for the next part where we will be teaching you django rest framework tutorial change password and reset password thank you guys if you like my video give a like thumbs up and comment below so that I get motivated and create such wonderful content for you. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.